Hey there, YouTube Beastas. So it went pretty good last night in that class. I've got a night class, a night school. I teach over the web. It's a Zoom. You've heard of that probably. A lot of people using that. It's kind of Skypey, right? So we're in the age of closed circuit television for a nominal price. We were looking forward to that back in the 60s and 70s someday, right? And those kind of dreams did come true. But now we're on to other dreams. But we've got these to these cool tools. And so I was doing this series object, as you see on the right here. Um, the pandas has this thing called a series inside. I tell them it's like a suitcase. I talk about importing from modules. It's kind of like how do you get things out of a suitcase when you get to a hotel? Do you just open your suitcase upside down and, like, dump everything on the bed? Because that's, like from module import star. Usually you just get out your shaving kit or whatever, and so, you know, leave most of your stuff in the suitcase just to keep things compact. Now, a hotel room will provide, you know, furniture for, if you're going to stay a while, you might as well unpack and so on. But those kinds of aesthetic considerations, the ideas of, you know, thoughts about being messy versus organized, it's best to take real-world experience, like working in a shop. I often bring up the proverbial bicycle shop because that's what Unix people often think in terms of. But newbies, they don't have all these associations. So when I teach, I often build those things up. And we're showing how the series here can eat different things. So this is all part of the school of tomorrow, and I don't necessarily use exactly this material. It's material just like this that because I just wrote this now and yesterday is yesterday. I'm also working on the asylum idea, the asylum city. So through WEFT and Champaign Urbana, which is a radio station I like, I'm listening to A about how sunscreen is a source of coral reef die off because that oxybenzone doesn't decay quickly and people smear gallons of the stuff on themselves. And I'm listening about how um, refugees coming over the border get support from some some of these religious institutions, it sounds like. I'd kind of tuned into the middle of that one, but uh, I'm picking up ideas for Asylum City. It's not where people go to just, it's not like a re resort where you're paying a lot of money to just go hang out by the pool and everyone around you is doing work for you and doing your bidding. It's a place where everybody chips in in some way, right? It's a city. It's like there's work to be done, stuff to be done, jobs to sign up for. Now, how do we comp compensate? Do we compensate in the form of, let's see, let me go to my, so I'll finish up by scrolling through some of this Asylum City stuff. All right, so here we go. I was linking it to Rajneesh Puram in the uh, actual text because location uh, includes possibly Oregon, right, for shooting the movie. I'm thinking of it as a Hollywood movie, you could call it. By Hollywood movie, I just mean movie in the sense of you've got real directors and stuff because we, we all, we're all living in a movie, right? Everything's moving, so scenarios partially overlapping scenario universe. So I'm talking here about my connections and how I'm, you know, I'm not worried about bringing in a lot of people, importing, like you think Asylum City, oh, thousands of refugees from scary countries. But at this point, we're just talking about Portland has a cast of thousands already. And we're just talking about the uh, early stages of planning and so forth. There is no such Asylum City under construction in the state, don't worry. Uh, this is all uh, early, early stages. All right, that's about it for now. I've had a good day teaching last night, and now I'm back to work.